COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. The lingering trade disputes and COVID-19 threats still loom large over the world's economy. But has innovation and entrepreneurship become a casualty? Probably there is no better place to find out than in Shanghai, a city that hosts the biggest and oldest enterprises from the U.S., like Johnson & Johnson. The company's largest innovation incubator in Asia still works magically in Shanghai. We were the first pharmaceutical company uh, to come to China 35 years ago. Um, China government very supportive of value-driven innovation. And together with uh, the market growth and the potential, makes it uh, extremely, extremely attractive. As of now, its lab hosts 40 different companies specializing in medical devices and consumer pharmaceuticals. It has become a breeding ground for startups. They give us not only the facilities, the infrastructure, but also the network, the connections, the speed. J Labs is really a fascinating place because it is placed in China that is a global leader. And Evelyn's project is to use artificial intelligence to develop medicines. That makes it much faster and dramatically fresher. They're now working on a new therapeutic to treat COVID patients. And local authorities have been helping. The city's R&D expenditure in 2019 covers 4% of its GDP, higher than that of the U.S. and Germany. And they've cut taxes by 2 billion U.S. dollars for high-tech firms. The message is loud and clear. If you have an idea, you must try it here. The practice of, and the success of Johnson in China ensure that the, China, the Chinese people never deny any new idea, new product, new concept. The, the growing of China or the rising of China, it create a huge opportunity for the whole world. But the charm doesn't stop there. Shanghai not only welcomes entrepreneurs to start businesses, they even embrace visionaries to change their city. Welcome to the top of China. The 632-meter building is the proud design of an American architect. The idea of the Shanghai Tower was sort of a gift to the people of Shanghai, so I wanted my gift to be better than anyone else's. Shanghai is an inspiration for him that Marshall decided to build a home in the Chinese city. And he's always amused at being the made in China architect. I go back to the States now and I think, God, our cities look old and tired and worn out. Our bridges are falling apart. And I come here and I see, wow, look, look, look what has been built in this country in the last 30 years. It's an amazing amount of infrastructure, bridges, roads, subways. But what keeps Marshall going is not just the need to build, but also whom to build with and for whom to build. The Chinese people are open to quality. People in China are willing to learn. But today they're starting to teach as well as learn. Uh, Wu Jiang is up here and Shanghai is over here. Yes, that is how Shanghai has moved its way to wealth and glamour, learning. And that is how China views the world, a place to grow and a chance to be better by working with the best. As Marshall said, we are learning from each other. According to the IMF, China is the only major economy that will grow in 2020. Some say it is because of the market size. Not exactly. It is people place confidence in this place. Be it Johnson & Johnson's incubators or the changing landscape of Shanghai, New thinking is not just an incentive, but an imperative in modern China. And it is this drive to bring people and ideas together to make something extraordinary that empowers this nation and keeps the world going. <laughs>